boys with the power to rock you. Blowing your mind, so you gotta get into five. What you waiting for? If you want to three, three, two, two, one, let's do it. Let's get it now, baby. I want it now, baby. I'm gonna get it on, baby. I want it now, baby. One of the biggest bands of the late 90s, they racked up four top 10 albums and three number one singles. But what went wrong and are they back for good? Let's find out. It's fun. Yeah. Woo! Beautiful intro. Ah, oh, thank you. How are you all? Yeah, really well. Really good. Well. Very happy. And is it good to be back, back now as five? It's strange. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's, it, <laughs> it's, it's strange, weird. but it is good. It's annoying when you turn up to work and, and one of your band members wearing the same kind of striped top as you, but apart from that, we, we're all right. Yeah. You're wearing the same striped top, top, top as me. You're wearing the same top hey, as you. Hey, guys, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good to match sometimes. Now, first things first, there's only four of you. So where's Jay? What's the situation? He's probably in bed at this yeah, box. He hasn't worked. No, he's not wearing gear. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I don't know. Jay doesn't want to be famous, so we've got to... You know, we're Respect moving that. on. Moving yeah. on. Fair dues. So who's going to do Jay's rapping when you go and perform on stage? Who do you think? Yeah. Is it going to be you, Al? I was hoping maybe uh, some of the fans, fans could help me. Maybe I could get a couple of them on stage. I haven't discussed yeah, this with the boys. Because yeah, I keep forgetting the he lyrics. He doesn't know any lyrics. <laughs> a lot of the time. And you can get your prompter. Yeah, your yeah, prompter. that could work. That could work. That could work. We'll, we'll figure it out. I think I'll be all right on that. I think you'll be all right, yeah, Abs. I think crossed. you'll do it good, won't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. listen, Always we've heard it. It's amazing. Oh, it's cool. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Perfect. That's it. Who needs Jay when we got Abs? Now, taking it back to the very beginning, you guys are all fresh faced teens when you auditioned to be in five. You're saying we're not fresh faced now. Well, I was going to say that, Rich. Well, you, well <laughs> if we're taking it back to the beginning, you're yeah, all pretty, pretty you know, young teens. Yeah. Um, so why do you think you guys got picked to be in five? What was it about you? We were reckon? the best at the audition. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good According answer, to Chris. Yeah. Well, no, according to us, we were mm. the cream of the crop, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've all got um, strong individual characters that mm. are distinct from each other. Mm. And it works. That's a sensible answer. Nice answer. answer. Mm. Yeah. All right, and, Steph. Yeah, it's all good with me, Sean. Now, apparently, Russell Brand auditioned to be in five. Did you see him there? This no. is true. Yeah, but it's true. He did. It, it yeah. is true, yeah. But I didn't see him there. He looked very different. I've seen pictures of what really? he would have thought. I don't remember him there, but yeah, he did. He would have blended I, into a I crowd. Think he wasn't. Been a bad he hadn't found the jazz <laughs> in the funk yet. Right, okay. Yeah. Imagine if he was in five. That would have been pretty funny, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. We need that hair though. <laughs> Mate, we're thinking of like growing Sean's like that and sort of like backcombing it. I think we need that look. Do you definitely need that sort Sean, of look? Sean, you up for it? You need to snip your arse. Look at <laughs> Sean's your Sean's up for it. <laughs> you do yours, yeah? Look how long yours is getting. It's getting longer. You need to snip, son. Doesn't it? <laughs> um, now, after getting in the band, none other than Simon Cow signed you. So, what was it like to be around Simon Cow back then? Um, yeah, it was interesting. He's always been a character, like, um, I mean, at the time he wasn't known like mm. he is now, you know? But, um, yeah, I think we were definitely like, who's this guy like, you know? Um, He's an integral part of our career. Yeah, he day. is, yeah. And he made, he made a lot of decisions. Um, with Simon, it's what, what you see is what you get. Mm. Um, we, had our, we had our little run-ins every now and then. But, yes, um, you, you know, we were kids. It'd be nice to see him, actually, wouldn't I'd it? I'd like yeah, to see him. It would be, really be nice really funny. You should meet up with him again. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll Cappuccino. see him soon. Cappuccino. Yeah, Cappuccino exactly. with Simon. Why not? <laughs> yeah. that tweet from Latte, sure. yeah. Bit of a latte. I'll tweet Simon, Simon and see what will happen. I'm sure he'll get back to at least one of you, no? What if he blanks us? Yeah. Oh, too well. risky, Stephanie. Too risky. <laughs> Sometimes you have to take risks, Sean. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Hence um, we're here. Exactly. Mm. There we go. So how did you... When you, got, when you signed the deal, how did you celebrate? Did you guys go out and party or...? Sean was only 15. Yeah. Bloody hell. We had a few drinks at the label, didn't we? And I don't remember. I did have champagne, though. Yeah, you, yeah, did, you did, yeah. Did we do anything other than um, have a few drinks at the label and that? Uh, we were at a restaurant, weren't we? Was it a, we, we signed it. Didn't you come, Rich, with all them girls and all that drink and all that? <laughs> weren't you there? Oh, obviously I wasn't invited. Oh. Oh. No, no we, done, we done nothing <laughs> extravagant. We were just in a, in a restaurant. I remember we signed it in a restaurant. We was with Simon and, and Chris and Bob, uh, which are our managers. Yeah. And we... Um, 
and we just had a few drinks there. It was. I don't remember. Actually, it wasn't that glamorous. It, no, oh. it, um, yeah, it escapes me. Can't remember that yeah. at all. Doesn't Sorry. remember. But it was, it was a big day. You signed yeah. a big deal. There's a lot of things that have happened in this band that just uh, blank yeah. voids <clears throat> of don't even know if I was there. Wow. I have to tell him, yeah. I have to say, yeah, you were there. And he goes, was I? And I go, yeah, you had a really good time. He goes, oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's really quick. Um, now, your debut single was Slam Dunk the Funk. Yes. An instant smash for you guys. Um, did you realise that that was the start of something big? No. Uh, no. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. Like, you sort of do, do and don't. You hope it is, but because you haven't released, you know, you're getting told, oh, you know, we're, we're doing lots for you by the label and stuff like that. But there's always the fear. You know, what if it just completely bombs and that? Yeah. But like we went, now. Yeah, yeah, very much like now. Do you know what I mean? You, you can't help it. But you're like, doing well at the moment. Things are looking up. So. They are, um, yeah. Swimming touch wood. Touch wood. Going swimmingly. Now, let's talk international success. When the Lights Go Out was a track that scored you a top 10 hit in the USA. So what did that feel like? Because it's quite hard to break the USA market. Yeah, that was, um, that was a good feeling. Yeah. It was just like, what's going on? I've uh, got a bit of a fact. Oh. We were the first British boy band to get in the top ten since the Bay City Rollers. And that's why Five Are Legends. Yeah, you go. Yeah, legendary, actually. Yeah. We were at the yeah. time, yeah. yeah. 20, been the, since the 70s weeks. that it had happened, yeah. it was like... How do you know that? Because it was true, I remember yeah, it. Yeah, it was weird 24 stuff, weeks. you found out? I, I, remember, I, remember, being told it I remember we were 24 weeks in the, in the chart, and then we moved to number, number ten, so it was like... That's pretty amazing. Yeah, Never been I done think before. So. Yeah, but how did you, how would you get all them facts? I remember it in. I remember it in the memory we bank. We told you. It was we was the, told. We were told. told. It was a it fact. Was one of them facts that gets bandied around. Just because you don't remember anything. You should remember that fact. I think it's a really good fact yeah, to have stored fact. in Look your mind. Up, um, so, what were your American fans like compared to your UK fans? Was it they had a big American difference? accent instead of an English yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from the accents, <laughs> no, I'm was joking. there any other difference? Um, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, pretty much. The, no, pretty much the same yeah. in terms of yeah. loyal fans, um, and they're still there now. Yeah. The amazing thing with with our fans is that it's been like nearly 12 years since we split and they're still there and they're still hungry for it. I would say though, the biggest difference with fans is our fans in um, South America because they were incredibly energetic. Yes. Oh, like real yeah, mad, yeah. like mm. chasing us down the road in taxis where you're, how many people can you fit in a taxi? That was just... How many people can you four, fit in a taxi? five. How many were in them taxis? Eight to nine. They, was, they would, they would stand. The they would stand on the like. So they'd stand in the boot with the boot open, and they'd hold on like this. And they'd like there'd be three of them in the boot, and they'd be like following our, our van all We'd the way down. We'd see people like running and then like running too fast and falling. Running into oh lampposts and that stuff like crazy. that. You'd be like, slow down, like yeah, stop. You're gonna injure yourselves. Yeah, like, yeah. Just stop, wowza. Um, now I you encouraged got... it personally. I bet you did. Yeah. Come, come follow, follow, follow <laughs> us, follow us. Um, now you guys got to go on tour with Justin Timberlake's band N Sync. Mm -hmm. Pretty big deal. What was that like? See, I don't it was agree. just N Sync no, at the time. I don't remember that. No, no, we, we did, did gig. No, we gigged with them at, um, at uh, Rock in Rio. We did gig with them, but we never that toured. Was a festival, with them. yeah. We never <laughs> did a tour. We never really? did a tour. No, no. We used to see them around. Yeah, we didn't actually tour, but we'd done lots of shows with them and Backstreet Boys. Ah, mm. and what was it like playing shows with them? Did you get on well? We didn't, we, all we'd ever really say is go, all right, how's it going? As really? as the road been? Yeah, great, and that'd be about it. Well, because we you're all really of... tired, like, both bands are really tired and you're all working, so basically you'd get to the show just before you went on, and then you'd be off doing promos. You didn't actually get that much time to intermingle. Most bands didn't like us anyway. We didn't like They them. were jealous, Sean. <laughs> They were intimidated. No, I don't think I don't think boys. it was Yeah, I don't think it was it was like that. Although we did do that thing once where NSYNC and their sort of like American thing, mm. they'd have like all these different rooms and it'd be like NSYNC quiet relaxation room, NSYNC um, whatever spiritual room, this, that. So we so our tour manager was like, right, that's it. We didn't bother <laughs> with all that, it was just like dressing room, that's yeah. it. So um, we had like, you know, Five we this time though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I it was like five, uh, five, five. You know, um, hooker, hooker, harem <laughs> room. Five, <laughs> like you know, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Love now, that. what set you apart from other boy bands that you co-wrote all of your albums? So, was it important for you guys to be really heavily involved with the writing process? Big time. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think I think um, what we wanted to do was take a boy band where it hadn't been before. Mm. You know, and that's where we had a bit of friction with people in the industry because they kind of wanted us to 
been fit the mold, mm. re sort of replicate the Backstreet Boys NSYNC thing, but we wanted to bring something else, and and we did. I mean, some of our songs do fit into that boy band um, NSYNC Backstreet Boys type sheer on sound, and and we're proud of them too. Mm. But we brought something else, so it's, it's good. Yeah, cool. like when we when we first started out, all boy band members, like there was you know a few bands around, they'd all been like saying, oh, we're virgins, we never drink, we never have girlfriends, all of this stuff. And that's, you know, we just came out and went, yeah, we're 18, of course we drink, of course we have girlfriends. Plus we're eclectic we because, you know, we've got a bit of rock, a bit of hip hop, a <laughs> bit of dance, a bit of cheesy pop. A bit of soul. We're having it, Stephanie. Yeah, mm. you are having it. I was a massive fan. I say was, still am. Good. Um, now, one of pop, who? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> on in. Go on. Yes. <laughs> right, um, now, one of pop rumours is that Simon Cowell tried to get Baby One More Time for you to release, but Britney Spears went and grabbed it. Was that true? That's true. That yeah. is true. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine you guys having Baby One More Time? Well, I think it would have been very different. Yeah. 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 Uh, a lot of people say, oh, you must be gutted that you didn't get that because we, we could have had um, Bye 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 as yeah. well. Yeah. My next question. Yeah. Mm. But the fact is that just because they were big hits for them artists doesn't necessarily mm. mean they would have worked for us because, as Sean was saying, um, that sound was very in sync. Yeah. So we actually sat there and I remember saying, it's, in, it's an in sync track, give it to in sync, which yeah. they did. Mm. And people go, oh, you must regret that. Not at all, because it wasn't a five star. Yeah. So I think Sean would have looked great in like a short skirt and <laughs> pigtails, man. Sean would have definitely <laughs> suited that look the uh, most. Yeah, and I heard, I heard Simon offered uh, Max Martin a Ferrari. Yeah, oh, as a little Mer bonus. New Merkel wow. Ferrari. Yeah, it was a car. So, as a really little amazing bonus. It was like, oh, you give the boys that. Really and I'm done it beautifully, that. though. Really yeah, she, done did, it she did it. Well, people say we arrogantly turned it down, which I think is unfair. Yeah. No, we just, didn't. It was just our choice. That it wasn't for us. Yeah. No, Fair enough. I think baby one more time. We didn't even we didn't get hear, the choice. We didn't hear that one. No, yeah. it was no. bye 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 that you heard. Yeah, we, we did like... say, but it wasn't. It was our, our decision. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Um, now, after three consecutive number two singles, it was Keep On Moving that gave you your first number one in the UK and your biggest selling single to date. So, was it a relief to finally have that number one single? I think it, we had more number twos than that. I'm pretty sure. On, yeah, no, consecutive. <laughs> no. consecutive. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. I forgot but that question. The, now. the the funny thing was, it, it was a big deal to get the number one yeah. because we actually were on um, on CD UK on the Saturday with Ify getting down, and we actually drank champagne on the show because we was announced as number one, and then on the Sunday, Ricky Martin living the Vida Loca <laughs> pipped us to the post and good tune though. Yeah, good tune, you know. But we were like, oh my god. How stupid did we look? We were number one. On the midweek, we were number one. We were beating him by loads. And then all of a sudden, somebody bought some CDs. His mum was out buying them. Mm. And, um, and we went number two, which is still a great thing yeah, to do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so it was a long time coming, that number one. Now, in the year 2000, not only did you win a Brit Award, but you also opened up the show and performed with the legendary Queen. Yes, we did. So what was it like performing on the show and winning a Brit? Ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. I mean, just the, even just the feeling of standing before you're going out, you know, a bit nervous, we're opening mm. the bits, blah, 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 and Brian May stood there and he's going like, rock on, Richie. <laughs> you're going, rock on, Brian. It's like wicked. <laughs> awesome what, at the time, I don't think we complete. We, we knew it was a big thing, but mm. now, I mean, last night, obviously, um, people were talking about when we opened the Brits because the Brits is quite mm. fresh in everyone's mind. And they were going, oh, my God, five rock the Brits. And I, I remember thinking, oh, my God, we opened the bloody Brits. Yeah. Like, How amazing is that? You know. Now, Please. critics did slam so, you for covering We Will Rock You. It's a big song to tackle, but I think you don't justice. It gave you a number one single. Mm. So how did that feel? Like, amazing, really, really amazing, you know? Just, like, sat drinking a glass of champagne. Mm. We were doing a gig at Hyde Park, I think, with Queen at the time that it was announced. So we cracked open the champagne and went, number one, wicked, you know? Um, and Scott's got a fact for you. Oh, this. what is I can, it? I can well, hear no, him yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the fact is, and this is, yeah, basically, I have got a fact. I'm, 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 they, they call me Fact Scott. Um, Queen only ever took that track to number two. Um, and, and Brian May actually said, and I quote, that he prefers his guitar riff on our version wow. because it's faster. Our version's slightly faster than this. So obviously, Queen fans are going to say it wasn't better, but we think we added a dimension to it because we put the rap on it as well. Mm. And, um, and you know, who's going to argue Brian May likes our version better? Brilliant. I love Freddie Mercury. Yeah, Freddie yeah. Mercury. Oh, brilliant. You know, no, that is a legend. Yes, that is a legend. Like five, who are legendary. Ooh. No, you can't <laughs> put five in the same category as Freddie Mercury. He's on a different Go planet. On, come on, take the, take the... Nah, nah, Freddie Mercury, no. he's on a different, he's on a different, Fair he's enough. different gravy. Fair he's, enough. He's Britain's Michael Jackson.
a nice, yeah. nice thing to say. Um, now, in that year 2000, you guys embarked on a successful world tour. How would you describe that tour? I remember an amazing pool party in Melbourne in Australia with uh, all of us. Yeah. Do you remember it's that? It's an amazing experience when you go out and you see, and you see all them fans. Yeah. But uh, to be honest with you, I think, I think the point is, from my personal perspective, I was a little bit overwhelmed. I didn't embrace it. I didn't enjoy it as much as I should have done. But looking back, it was amazing. At the time. Um, now, did all the constant touring take its toll on you? Because you're pretty much on, like, on the road touring or playing shows. It was pretty non-stop. Yeah. Yeah. What's the question? <laughs> Sorry, we're not helping her at all. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Stephanie. Was all Sorry, the touring Stephanie. taking its toll on you? Were you uh, forgetting lines? Were you nah, surprised? Not, not forgetting nah. lines, because once you're on the stage, you, you, you know, you're there and, and yeah. you, you've, you've mm. got it in your locker to do you it. You end but... up doing it on autopilot a little bit at times. You forget, you're so used to doing that bit, you know exactly what you're doing at that bit. You sort of zone out for about a minute. I've had it where I'm thinking, should I leave the oven on tonight? But I'm fully doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Stop singing and then I'm like, I think I might have left the oven on tonight. And did I forgot to call mum. And then I'm like, oh yeah, you're doing a gig in front of 16,000 oh people. Wake up. <laughs> Yeah. You want to left the oven on because you want it home. No, I know, but you know what I mean. Oh, that right. kind of thing. I'm just making a point. Oh, right. I mean, I used to, uh, I used to be in the. They used to be going out and drinking, and they'd think, "Oh, Scott's getting an early night, sensible boy." I'd be playing PlayStation and I'd just be cleaning out my mini bar. So I would turn up as, as like tired. And they'd be like, "Scott, you, you went to bed early." I was like, mm. "Yeah, I was playing Tomb Raider." I mean, you used to join me sometimes, and that's obviously playing Tomb Raider and getting drunk on my own. <laughs> Rock and roll. I mean, the time Scott never speaks drinking. about it, but the time Scott had to sell his body for biscuits, I think people were like... <laughs> oh, Abs, why are you bringing in the selling my body for biscuits I thing? I thought we had said that we was never going to mention that. Just, is it digestive? It's a good or job we've it? got editing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's move on. Everyone knows the legendary the pop towel of Sean being replaced by a cardboard cow in the video for Let's Dance. Now, at that point, Sean, had you had already left the band? I was having a bit of... Um... Well, let's not get our doom and gloom, but I was, I was having a bit of counselling, yeah. you know, things had uh, come to a head. Yeah. I was a 20-year-old kid, as, I, as we sort of yeah. um, said in the show. I'd gone and uh, left a photo shoot, and um, then I put the telly on and I saw myself in, as a cowboy cut out. And how did that feel at the time? You not, the no. not the best. Not the best. Hang on, sorry. Are you telling me <laughs> that they didn't tell you that you were going to be a cardboard cutout yeah. in the video. <laughs> oh my That's God, bad. I've just found that out. I thought they would have said, look, we can... Well, why didn't you send me a text? Because we've already been over this. We were told not to contact you wow. under no yeah, uncertain terms, because yeah. you weren't I'd like to know where that cardboard cutout is. Yeah, where is it's the cardboard cutout? It's sitting somewhere, cut out? man, lonely. Mm. You know what I mean? Need someone to talk to. Mm. Just, got a few join, more just join you on the road. Bring the cardboard out. Um, but Let's Dance gave you another number one single and your third album was another smash. But all was not well within the group. What was going on? Was it, were you guys just like, this is coming to an end? Um, event, well, actually, I like sort of, I remember we went, after Sean left, we went to Belgium and I had this accident on stage. It was Jay sort of rolled into me while I was on a podium and I did a 360 sprain. Mm. So Sean had left, we were a band called Five, with four of us, and one of us couldn't dance anymore. So I was doing Let's Dance on a stool at the yeah. side of the stage because I couldn't. I did. You know, I think that was your best like performance with right? Let's Dance. Thanks though. ever so much. It was Scott. your ever best performance. Like Whereas if there had been four of you and you'd have been able to dance, there wouldn't have been a problem. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And then, and then Scott turned up. We were filming Top of the Pops at the time, and Scott turned up, and uh, he was in a very bad way. Bless him. He's sort of a bit crying mm. and stuff. and bit um, crying. A bit crying, weren't yeah, you, mate? Yeah, a bit, bit, bit emotional. I was, yeah, I was a bit, bit girl. And um, I don't know, he, he was just, he was really upset. And like me and Jay just went and sat next to him and in the corridor of this hotel with our arms around him. And he just, you know, when somebody can't like mm. get their words out, he's just like, I can't, I can't, I can't do, do it anymore. And Jay and I just looked at each other and went, look, it's not worth it. It's two people cracking up here. Like, it's just time I think we were day. five kids that just needed a little arm around the yeah. shoulder. Mm. And slow it down and yeah. we'd have probably been all right. We should have had some needed time off. Yeah. We needed a break. Overworked. We needed break. a break, yeah. that was yeah. it. We needed a break in hindsight, but we decided to be the big men and go, it's over. We yeah, needed a couple of it. months, yeah. but, it, but yeah. you know, if somebody had given us that couple of months, we'd have probably been all right, yeah. but mm. as it happens, it's been 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> now, you all ended things on a high. You're riding the charts when you sort of said, let's sort of call it a day. Do you think that's the best way to leave things? He seemed to be at the time. We kept. I remember saying, "Oh yeah, you know, like, it's like let's go off at number one. It's mm. really good." And then now I'm thinking, you were number one at the at number one at the peak of your success, and you went, "Nah, 
So yeah, in we hindsight, peaked, though. Well, we were, no, we were, yeah, but we were, we, were, we, were, we were like this. We were number one at the time, and most people wouldn't would have said it's a dumb idea. Mm. And looking back, it was. Yeah, but that's on paper, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. When you when you've got your brains all together, but, nice and calm, enjoying yeah. yourself. Mm. Yeah, see, now I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm thinking, why would I have? But mm. my head was in that that place, and obviously my wife had just had you know first child, mm. and mm. I wasn't interested in doing uh, TV shows. I, I'm I'm sorry as well that we didn't get to promote uh, King Size, th that album, because I listened Brilliant, to it yeah. over, it is like truly, I believe, far and away our best album we ever made. Uh, now in 2006, you tried to make a comeback. What happened there? The problem was Sean wasn't with us. Right, okay. That was the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Come on then. No, the, 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 I mean, that was obviously one of the big, the big problems, but the, no one was ready. Mentally, mm. physically, no, it was just like an idea. I didn't want to do it, quite honestly, at the time, for some reason, I was having an anti pot few years, as I think we've all done a little uh, bit, apart from you, apart maybe. From me, yeah. And um, I just didn't want to go out and do the old stuff. I was like, I'm not, I don't want to do it. You want and to... Jay, actually. Uh, me and Jay, yeah, it was me and Jay, we were just like, I don't want to do it, we want to do a different style, stuff like that. And that's I, why it just. I remember being offered a tour. We sat down in a room, we got offered a big an tour. Arena to tour do, and I was an arena like that. tour. <laughs> and, and, and Jay and Jay and I mean Abs didn't even turn up for the meetings. That was a kick that was a great kickoff. I don't remember. Yeah, because you weren't there. And so I'm sitting there going, wow, we've been offered a, you know, an arena yeah. tour, this is amazing. And uh, Rich and Jay going, not doing any of the old music. I was like, what do you mean? You can't do a show. Tour without playing your hits. So guys, why do you think? <laughs> Comfortable. Sorry. Abs love. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in, that's brilliant. Abs love. Yeah. I like that whole name. I missed that um, one. <laughs> uh, it's just a play on words. Um, <laughs> so, guys, why do you think it's the right time now to come back as five and do your thing? It just feels like the right time. Everyone's in the right headspace. Mm -hmm. um, the, the fans have been waiting so long. I think if you wait any longer, you know, that they could give up on us. Um, it just feels right, you know. Everyone's in, as I say, everyone's in the right headspace, mm. and, and it seems to be working. Yeah. And, mm. and no one. And if people want us to continue, then I'm sure we can. You know. Mm. So, so there was no mathematical. Uh, is that the right word? Yeah. Mathematical yes. formula. Mm -hmm. It just. It was just a feeling. Cool. Yeah. Maria. It was just a feeling, and it's like a, a complete inner circle because obviously you know we've spoken about the end and stuff like that, and it was always a bit like unfinished business, like we never quite finished promoting yeah. that album, we never quite finished doing all that stuff, we all just dispersed at 12 years off, now we're sort of back going, okay, let's, let's complete the circle. Yeah, why not? Mm. If you get the opportunity, why not go for it? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so now that you're back together, are you planning to release any new material or are you just going to keep the old stuff? And... <laughs> Step at a time, yeah. innit, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. Like, I think, I think we've all said, like, when we first started out, we said, I think it'd be, a bit arrogant to go, oh, it's been 12 years, let's just make a tune and put it out there and it'll go number one, you know? Um, this time we're singing the old songs, aren't we? Yeah, we are singing the old songs and fully embracing it and loving yeah, it. Yeah, right so you because should. you're proud of them, aren't you, Rich? Very proud of them, Sean. Yeah. And so you should be, yeah. Rich. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. I am. Well, guys, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you for being so lovely as oh, well. Oh, you're very welcome. It's really nice to talk to you and see what you've been getting up to, and it's great to have you back now. Thank you. Good luck yeah. with the rest of this thank year. Thank you, everybody at home, supporting yeah. us. We number yeah. love you. Oh.